could have it could have been better. Oh, that sucks. Hey everyone, welcome to the 2023 Barry Roubaix Race Report. This is one of my most favorite events that I do all year, and apparently it is the largest gravel race in the world with 4,500 people. Um, I had no idea, but either way, it is super fun, vibes are high, fitness is good, the venue is awesome, uh, it's a beautiful day as you can see, so without wasting any more time, let's just get right into the race. You can hear Laura, she's yelling at me. Laura is the owner of Team Stella Fly, the team that I race for. We love Laura, she's amazing. Um, so the beginning of the race, uh, it's a little tight. I thought maybe I would come up on the inside here to try to get around, maybe get to the front, get a little bit better position, uh, but uh, see that the barrier is coming up and realize that I'm not gonna have a lot of space and I don't want to cause a crash, so I decided to just drop back uh, follow Mr. Factor bike, which I do. I love that bike. Uh, guy in front of me, single speed. Uh, that is a bold choice, Mr. Single Speed. Uh, I wish you all the best. The first gravel section comes pretty early on, and we're probably only a mile in. Man, there is something therapeutic about the sound of a bike pack hitting gravel. Just uh, the sound of the rocks and the dust and everything. Man, it is... It is just my happy place. Um, it is getting a little congested. I'm used to riding around people, but I don't do it a lot, and this is probably the limit of uh, how comfortable I am. So, just looking for wheels, and here's some guy, somebody that I'm gonna try to follow, but uh, I'm gonna get squeezed out. Again, just don't have the skills or experience for racing that's uh, this close together. So, this is all very new to me. And I just keep thinking, uh, don't cause a crash. Don't be that guy that causes a crash. Uh, I did think that I got lucky for a second. The guy uh, with the specialized tattoo on the right is Alex Tanelsoff. He is a really talented rider, uh, very fast. So I kind of thought that I might try to just follow him and let him kind of guide me through the group. Uh, but as we'll see in a second, uh, that didn't really happen. Uh, I lose his wheel almost immediately. This got really sketchy, uh, so a car was coming up on the other side of the road and that kind of squeezed everybody together. And you'll see here in a minute, I bounce off of the rider on the left, how I didn't crash or cause a crash. I, I was so worried that I was gonna be like that Bahrain rider that was like, that just got bounced up into the field and caused a huge crash. It's like, oh man, that'll be so embarrassing. Please do not cause a crash. And I kept thinking that with how fast it was, and you can see all the dust, I mean, you really could not see anything. I just, I kept thinking that given all of that, it would eventually kind of break apart and we could find uh, a better group and I could find some room to kind of move and it would become a little more comfortable. Um, again, just, uh, you can see, I'm getting squeezed out. I, I just, I do not belong uh, this close up to the front. So here's the first forest road. Uh, I assume this was the forest road from last year, which was rather uneventful. Uh, newsflash, it is not. Um, so you can see immediately right through the mud, I decide to go, you can hear me say, that sucks, it does. Uh, shoes are soaked, socks are soaked. Uh, fortunately, it's warm at least. Uh, so that's how this starts, and then immediately into the sand, guy tips over, uh, I mean, you're, you're stopped. And if you've ever tried to ride through sand, as soon as you're stopped, you're done. It's a hike-a-bike section, this is now cyclocross. Uh, I mean, look at this. Look at this. Like, where, where am I gonna go? Look, we've got a Garmin, we've got some sunglasses, we've got a water bottle. It's, it's insanity. And so, trying to get back on the bike, trying to keep going, um, but those front groups, those front groups are gone. Like... They're just, they're up the road. They could probably ride through it, and so they just made it. I'm very aware that I have missed the group, so now I'm I'm nervous, and oh, this this guy, I felt so bad. I ran right into his bike, but I, there was nowhere to go. I didn't, I didn't know what to do, and so you can see that everyone's super nervous. They know that they are missing the front, um, and so everyone's like just scrambling to keep moving. 
um, and it's just causing a lot of accidents. Uh, he was having trouble clipping in, and you can see. Uh, I mean, again, like, where are you going to go? Like, what are you going to do? Riders are going everywhere. People are running into each other. Um, there's really nothing you can do about it. I don't know if I could have a, a tire setup or, like, the skills or just, like, maybe lower pressure in the tires, like, to try to get... I don't know if anyone can get through this. So you just have to run. And, yeah, it's <laughs> it sucks uh, if you've ever tried to, like, ride really hard, get off your bike, and then run you know that your heart rate immediately goes to 300 and it it's rough so i am breathing through my eyeballs at this point just trying to run up this hill in sand this guy on the right comes by looks like you know no issue for him that's cool uh I'm not sure how he's doing that but i wish i could um so once you get kind of up to the top of this hill it's like okay maybe you could start riding again Okay, so we're up at the top, ready to finally descend, um, thinking that maybe I have kind of got through most of it, and you haven't. You can immediately see the guy in front of me as uh, sliding out. There's a huge group. Again, nowhere to go. Like, it, it's incredibly frustrating, and um, I can tell I'm getting frustrated, and the people around me are getting frustrated. We're constantly crashing into each other. This guy, again, just tips over. The guy in front of me stops. It's just nothing to do. It does suck. Uh, so, yeah, this is very much like the Traverse City Belgian waffle ride, which was not the most fun thing ever. Just more sand. This guy tips over, falls right into me. Um, are you okay? I actually have no idea if he ended up being okay or not. Uh, I think he fell right into my gear, so that probably hurt. Um, but, yeah, you're just... And the, the trouble is, once you get into the sand, once you stop to uh, to run, people don't want you to run on this shoulder because they're trying to ride there. So they want you to run in the sand, which is just even harder. So everything about this section is just, like, super frustrating. Everyone around me is frustrated. I'm frustrated. Uh, but we're all just trying to do our best. Uh, Mr. Turbo over here on the right-hand side, he's clearly just been like, I'm just going to take a pee, which I can't blame him because at this point, the front of the race is totally gone. Uh, I assume that I'm in like 400th place, um, so yeah, th this was this was very much a low point um, in the race. Uh, holy hell! Yeah, it, this this was not this was not good. But I knew that once I got back onto the pavement, it was like okay, maybe there's a chance that if I can ride well, uh, we can regroup, we can find, um, we can kind of collect people on the road and really form a group and maybe the race doesn't have to be totally over. So I can see two riders up here. The first rider is uh, one of the other uh, kind of courses, one of the shorter distances. So uh, we're gonna be seeing a lot of riders where you, you kind of think that you're, you're about to catch somebody. You think there's a group in front of you and you're like, oh man, I've caught this group and only to realize that it's really a pack of like other riders from a different route and you still are chasing the the riders that you actually want to be riding with so that was that was really mentally tough but i end up catching up to these two guys uh there's mr red bike yellow socks uh, that we saw earlier uh, the guy in the black kit uh the three of us ended up working pretty well together uh, we had a good group people were taking good turns we were moving pretty fast um they were, they were really good riders and good riders to, to be uh, on course with. So vibes are coming around. We're starting to feel better. We're starting to think that maybe the day isn't totally wasted. All right, so here's a group. Um, this is kind of the group that I'm going to ride with for most of the day. The woman right ahead, uh, the woman right in front of me, she actually ends up winning the, the overall for the women, so I didn't know that uh, she was actually in first place. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the group that we're gonna ride with for a while. It took a lot of work to catch up to these guys, and yeah, you can hear me say like, <laughs> this is tough. I, I was pretty tired at this point. Now I'm, I'm working on not being such a triathlete, and which means I don't need to go to the front and just absolutely drill it. So I'm trying to just hang back, recover, sit in the draft, and really let other people do the work. Uh, Left-hand turn onto the second uh, main forest road. 
I did not know this was here. Uh, I hadn't looked at the course very well. So this is, we're gonna find uh, more sand, more gravel, and this is gonna be another uh, kind of frustrating section. Uh, but all I can think about is like, don't lose this group. Work so hard to catch up to this group. You can see somebody's stuck in the sand, so it's like, okay, uh, going through the middle, which is not where I should be at all, um, like a noob, but on, yeah, just, it, it's so hard, and I'm just so inexperienced in the sand, I just do not have that experience. Managed to make it through, I don't know how, but I did, which was awesome, um, and you can't really tell, uh, the GoPro does not do this justice, but this is actually a pretty steep hill, uh, and it's really loose gravel, so it's easy to to lose traction and to kind of and see like that guy on the left like his rear wheel just started slipping and he just couldn't do it the guy in front of me you can see it like the wheels are slipping um and luckily i was able to keep it upright and, and keep the power going up over the top of the hill nope like that <laughs> no no i don't like that so yeah the, it's been it's been a rough beginning of the race for sure And I, I just I just stop early. I'm like, I can see that people are running. Um, there's no point in trying to force the bike through. Uh, I might as well just get off and run, or in this case, kind of walk. I, I'm, I'm so gassed. Like, I do not have run fitness anymore. Um, I sort of assumed that when I stopped being a triathlete, I wouldn't have to run anymore. So uh, my ability to run is basically zero. <laughs> Guys are calling out that they want to come in on the right. They wanted to stay uh, on the hard pack, and people were trying to run over there because that was the only place to run. So you just have this, like, man, nobody's having a good day. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe somebody was, but I certainly wasn't having a good day at this point. Um, this was a, an incredibly challenging part of the course for for pretty much everybody. Damn. I'm feeling sort of okay at this point because I'm not by myself. So uh, I'm I'm trying to tell myself that like I'm still doing okay. Like the race isn't totally over, um, and that I might actually do okay because it seems like I'm with a group that is somewhat strong. That stick right there, oh my gosh! So as if the day wasn't getting uh, hard enough as it is, hitting that stick flung sand under my sunglasses directly into my eyes. And you can see I've lost the, the group that I was with. Well, I try and uh, basically see. I had gotten so much sand in my eyes that I couldn't see. And I actually was thinking that I might need to stop and uh, use a water bottle to get some of the sand out. But both my bottles had uh, drink mix in them and I didn't really want to squirt uh, drink mix into my eyes. So I figured I would just ride until the next aid station or it got better. But that, um, that issue did cost me that group and you can see I'm off the back of the group again. So, time to chase back on. This is the final sand section. Uh, we come out of the forest road, you take a right, and that's pretty much it for the hardest part of the course. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna use that course next year. Mm, I, would, uh, I would hope they don't. I hope they go back to the original course was not a big fan. I don't know if anyone was a big fan of all of that sand on those forest roads. Again, I, I'm, I'm by myself. That is the story of the day. Eric finds a group and then loses it. So this rider in front of me actually ended up doing a lot of work. Um, and I know that uh, my best shot is to try to catch up to him. So I am burning all of the matches like anything that i have left after that sand i am burning it now to try to catch this guy because i know that if i don't catch him like i'm screwed so i am giving full gas effort to try to catch up to him he ended, ended up being really strong throughout the whole day he ended up doing a lot of work um i do manage to catch on to him uh, had a little bit of momentum decided to try to go around see if i couldn't give him a, a bit of a break uh, maybe we could try to work together to catch this group in front of us. And again, we're we're with other people, other we're with other uh, like distance riders, so people doing the 30 and the 18. So we're con like this group that you see in front of us isn't totally the group that we want. Like there's other riders in there, so like it was really tough to know 
who exactly we were chasing. Fast forward a little bit and I still have not caught up to that group. I am, I am continuing to burn all of the matches. And it was so tough because they would hit hills and I would be able to, to kind of get up on them and then they'd go over the top and then they'd kind of accelerate away. Uh, but uh, on this hill, I was able to finally try to catch back up to that group. I was so tired, I was so gassed. The efforts, uh, each one of them wasn't super hard, but just over and over again, and then trying to run through the sand and everything, like, we're probably only 25 or 30 miles in, but I'm done. Um, this was a really cool section, though. Uh, the guy in front of me uh, didn't have any shifting. His battery was dead, so he was couldn't get up the hills. Uh, felt bad for him on that one. They had these signs, uh, something about furniture, and like, you know, just the signs were kind of uh, obscure. Uh, we've saved you a seat, you know. Uh, what else we got? Prepare to smile. So I'm like, what is going on? Like, what what is up here? And then uh, you you come around this corner, and you can see in front of you this like old tiny couch, and they're taking photo. Like people were stopping to take photos on this couch during the ride, and I I actually wanted to stop. I thought that'd be pretty cool. But again, theme of this race, Eric is off the back because he doesn't know what he's doing. So you can see a group up there, uh, one lone rider. So I can't really uh, take time to stop and do a photo shoot on the couch, even though I wanted to, because I've got to chase back on. I did manage to make it out of the group. There's that woman that ends up winning overall, kind of caught back up to her group. And this turbo guy that was going uh, on the outside, he just rode right through our group. Like, he didn't attack, he didn't do anything, he just rode through us. And so I use him kind of as a springboard, thinking that it's like, okay, well maybe I can uh, launch, or he, I can kind of use him to kind of pull me into some faster groups. But I am full gas, poop pants, breathing through my eyes efforts, just trying to keep up with this guy. And he is just, he's just riding away from me. I have no idea who this guy is or how he is so strong, but dude, give me, give me your legs. Cause like, it's incredible. I did manage to, to catch up to him. And I, as I was hoping he did sort of bridge me up to this next group on the road, uh, the group that I left uh, ultimately did catch back up. So it kind of was irrelevant. This group that I'm with now and the group that's behind us that's gonna catch back up uh, is kind of the group that I finished that I finished the day with. We're about 40 miles in at this point, so um, this is kind of the group that, that I'm with. You can see that turbo rider, he's, he's gone. He's just off the front and there he goes. Man, dreams. Uh, this is where the GoPro ended up dying, so this is the end of the footage, um, but there's not really a whole, L, uh, whole lot else that happens, so let's just jump to the finish. I'm actually really happy with how I finished. I launched my sprint early, which is a big challenge for me normally, so I'm proud of that, and then was able to hang on for a second out of that group that I was with. All right, so I've been struggling to figure out how to end the video given that uh, the GoPro had died, so I didn't have any footage of the finish. Uh, so this is how it's gonna end. Sorry for the abrupt ending. Uh, thank you all for making it to the end of the video. This was really fun to make and even more fun to do the event. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.